Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at whether you can build your own DIY swim spa. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so you may be asking yourself the question, can I build a DIY swim spa? Well, I'll give you a clue, the answer is yes. And in this video, I'm gonna explore some of the things that you need to think about, some of the things that you need to consider if you are indeed gonna go ahead and build your own DIY swim spa. Now, before I get going, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts as well, and everything on this channel focuses around hot tubs, plunge pools, air source heat pumps, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so let's start with what is a swim spa. Well, a swim spa generally has some form of mechanism against which you can swim. Now, these are called different things. They're called endless pools, they're called swim jets, they're called swim machines. There's lots of different names that these devices go by. Essentially, there is something that is creating a flow of water against which you could swim. And that is what a swim spa or an endless pool is all about. And you can 100% build them as a DIYer. Now, before we get going and looking at some of the other elements, I'm gonna stay focused on the actual swim machine or counter current or swim jet, again, whatever you want to call it. There's lots of different options for these. You can get models that are retrofit, that go on your existing pool to make it a swim pool. You get super expensive hydraulic systems which run into close to you know, tens of thousands of dollars. And these are for the pro swimmer or the athletes that are in training. And then you have the swim jets. I actually have my own swim jet. You can see this behind me here. I'll put a link to that underneath the video. And what a swim jet does is it's a much lower cost way of creating that counter current against which you can swim in a small pool or spa. The main difference is this kind of a jet setup. The one that I offer is more for the, I'll call it the hobby swimmer, i.e. you're not an athlete in training, you're not a pro swimmer, because the amount of flow is much less than you get from those hydraulic systems, which are you know super expensive. So what do we need to think about then if we're building a DIY swim spa? Well, we obviously need the swim jet, which we've already mentioned. We also need to be careful with the dimensions of the swim spa itself. So if you are gonna use some form of a swim jet or a counter current machine, then in general, you're gonna need at least 14 feet of pool to make sure that you're not getting a wave coming off the back wall of your pool that's then gonna knock you offline. So as a rule of thumb, if you are looking to build a swim spa, it needs to be a minimum of 14 feet in length. Next, the width. Well, the width is totally up to you and you need to think, you know, how much space, firstly, do you have available? And secondly, do you actually want when you're swimming? This is definitely a personal preference. There isn't any hard or fast rules on this one. Uh, other than the length, the width is totally up to you. And you, you've seen, I'm sure, there are those lap pools that you get, which are very narrow, it's one lane. You know, that works as well with a swim jet or counter current machine at the end. Are you looking to have any kind of dual purpose for the, the swim spa? So if it's a swim spa, generally there's a seating area as well, with a whole bunch of hot tub jets. So you have the benefit of an exercise area with the swim jet, and then you've got the hot tub massage jets, an area to relax. So you have a dual purpose pool. Now, these are the kind of ones that I like to design and actually have a whole bunch of designs on my online store for dual purpose swim spas or, or endless pools. Uh, I'll put a link to those underneath the video. 
The next set of considerations really are the same whether you're building a, a hot tub or a regular pool. So what materials are you going to use to construct the walls? Are you going to use CMU block? Are you going to use ICF block? Are you going to use poured forms? You won't be looking to use shotcrete or gunite because those are not DIY friendly. There are other options with ICF block, for example, you're actually getting your insulation in there. They're super easy to handle. I actually have a range of ICF blocks. I'll put a link to that underneath the video as well so you can check those out. Which is best? Well, it really comes down again to personal preference. Look, this is DIY. This is what skills do you have? And also, how do you want to build your DIY swim spa? Because the Material choices are really up to you. Heating options, how are you actually gonna heat your swim spa? Now, you wanna be able to control the heat because if you're gonna exercise in it, you're not gonna want it too hot. However, if you want to use it as a hot tub as well, then you want to consider you know, how quickly do you wanna be able to bring it up to temperature. If you want to bring it up to temperature really quickly, then you're gonna to want to look at gas or propane. For a swim spa, I wouldn't be looking, certainly in the current climate, at using electric. It's just way too expensive. And it's way too slow to heat up. And air source heat pumps, obviously it depends on your climate. If you're looking to use this all year round and you have really cold winters, then air source isn't gonna be for you. So you'll need to do some research on the heating side of things to work out which is gonna be the best option for you. Something to think about at design stage is the type of sanitation that you're gonna use for the water. Are you gonna use chlorine? Are you gonna use bromine? What about a salt system or a UV system? These are all options, again, that you have to consider whether you're building a DIY swim spa or a hot tub or a pool, they're the same considerations. However, you want to make your decisions at the planning stage before you actually break ground on the project. As they say, you fail to plan, you plan to fail. What is it gonna to cost to build a DIY swim spa? Well, how long is a piece of string, I guess, is the real answer here. There are so many variables involved. However, let's contrast this with, firstly, if you bought a plastic preformed swim spa, you're probably looking upwards of 50,000. You go into one of the, the major brands, they're expensive. If you're looking to have a pool builder do it for you, they will charge again around this kind of 50,000 figure. And this is 50,000, whether you're in dollars, whether you're in pounds, whether you're in euros, it's all very, very similar. So what's it gonna cost us as a DIYer? Well, I would say it would be definitely less than half of that and probably some. So again, I'm just giving you very rough figures because everything changes very quickly at the moment, but also how you choose to finish the DIY swim spa, that makes a difference. Tile prices you know, can vary hugely per square foot depending on the, the type of tile, whether it's a mosaic, whether it has a, an iridescent finish, that kind of thing. And that can really alter the build cost. So build cost is, is difficult to calculate from the outset. However, I would definitely say you are looking at less than half of what a spa builder would charge, but also less than half of what a much smaller plastic shell tub would cost. And finally, what about plans? What about guidance? What about help? Well, I've got all of that for you. And again, I'll put the link underneath this video. I have lots of different plans available on my website. My information packages have loads of information about building hot tubs, swim spas, and plunge pools. And also the packages give you access to my DIY course as well. So I have a video course that again can walk you through all the different steps of building a hot tub. Got any questions on this? Hit me up in the comments or get in touch via the website. Always happy to hear about your projects. Hopefully you found this short video useful. I wish you the best of luck with your project. Hopefully I'll be involved. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.